It was a very, uh, very dark time. You know, I, I had a hard time believing something like that could happen to me. Everything changed for Tommy Morrison on February 10th, 1996. Just hours before he was to fight on national television, the heavyweight boxer learned he had tested positive for HIV. The bout was canceled, a multi-million dollar contract to fight Mike Tyson disappeared, and his world was turned upside down. That caused my life to spiral out of control in a big way. Some of my best friends that I grew up with wouldn't even wave at me going through town. Jim, I worked that in. I went, you know, after I had to retire, I went in there to work out. And this guy come up and it's like, man, you know, you're gonna have to, you know, you're costing me money, is what he said. I'm like, what are you talking about? He's like, half these people don't want to work out here because, you, you know, they see you working out and sweating on the machine, you know. It was a long fall for a man who was one of the most popular fighters in boxing. He's going to be dangerous no matter who he fights, where he fights him. In addition to starring alongside Sylvester Stallone in Rocky V, Morrison had displayed his devastating punches in a series of crowd-pleasing bouts. Oh, bang. Oh, a good right hand by Morrison. Including his 1993 unanimous decision win over George Foreman for the WBO title. A right hand from Tommy Morrison. So with his boxing career over at age 27, Morrison struggled. He pled guilty to DUI charges, spent 14 months in prison on drugs and weapon charges. But in the last few years, he has turned the corner, primarily because Morrison now believes he never had HIV. The more research I did, uh, the more I found out that what I was being told was a bunch of bull. What I do know is, you know, all the things that they told me was going to happen to me never happened. Am I Superman? No, I don't think so. I used to think I was Superman back when I was 21, but, you know, I just think that uh, there was a, big, a misdiagnosis. Morrison may believe he's HIV free and ready to return to the ring, but many are skeptical. So, he has a plan to prove the naysayers wrong. The first thing is, you know, we've got to uh, pass the medical exam in, in, in Las Vegas. You know, that's like the, the hub of American boxing. And that's the same test that I failed back in 96, or allegedly failed. I guess I did fail it for some reason. Once that's done, then we're off and running. Then the world is my crystal ball. He has other motivation as well, namely his fiance, Lisa, who is the reason he's now living here in Los Angeles. Tommy is my best friend, my future husband. I feel like we're one person in two bodies, and I've never experienced that. I love Tommy. You can't help who you fall in love with, so we'll just have to march through it together. She's everything that I've always dreamed about. I remember riding around when I was in high school with my buddies, and I remember telling them, you know, I wish I could find a girl that was like me. They're all like, you're out of your mind. You'll never find someone like you. It was awesome. It was like that missing piece. With his personal life thriving, Morrison is ready to resume his career, something that would have, until recently, seemed unthinkable. I don't plan on doing this forever. You know, I'm talking about it a year, year and a half. I'd like to win one title, you know, and then whatever happens after that happens. But uh, I think it'll be the greatest comeback in the history of the sport.